Hey guys, I wanted to do a new video showing the current state of my ANET A8. Uh, I just got a uh, Flex 3 drive extruder and I gotta tell you, it is amazing. The uh, print quality has never been better on this printer. Um, the way it works is instead of having the uh, the uh, stepper motor on the carriage you're you're able to put the stepper motor elsewhere and it takes the weight um, off of the carriage so that way you can run faster print speeds and uh, not have like the echoes in the print uh, which happens whenever you have a lot of weight on the carriage uh, it's also direct drive so you don't have to push the uh, the filament through a Bowden tube so it's it's great with all materials um, I did a print with the uh, with the Ninja Flex um, I can run it at the same speed I can run all the other materials and the, the quality is just amazing so you can see back here where I've got the stepper motor attached um, the, the one thing about the uh, the flex 3 drive on the a net a8 is you have to uh, well it has a about a 30 to 1 gear ratio the so the stepper motor has to go a lot faster to uh to push the filament through um so it's around like a in the firmware the number is around 3700 where you have to set it to and you know stocks around it's in the 90s uh, if you have the titan it's around 400. uh my problem was whenever i first set that the the stepper motor would just buzz whenever you tried to extrude the material uh, it wouldn't push at all but the uh, the guy who does the uh, flex 3 drive he's he's amazing he has uh, great support he went through and helped me with some settings um, one of the problems is the uh, the stepper motor on the a8 runs at I believe 16 to 1 um, I can't remember what it's called but it's it's kind of like the built-in ratio of, of the stepper uh, you need to have it on 8 instead of 16 but unfortunately with the ANET you can't change that in the firmware uh, there's no way to change it on the board so we're able to do some settings with like the jerk settings um, right now I'm, I'm only running a 15 uh, millimeter a second retract speed but even with that slow speed it works great it really does I'm going to try to see if I can get up to 20 uh, that's my goal but I don't know if it's going to be able to handle that to, to fix the issue um, you could do it if you just got a, a replacement board like uh, one of the uh, oh let's see there's a smoothie board like a 32-bit board that you'd be able to change those settings or a, a ramps board you could upgrade uh, to a ramps board and you'd be able to make all of the uh, the necessary changes to to be able to do the like the full speed retracks but you know like I said even even though I can't run the uh, high speed retracks on it the the extruder itself it's it's just amazing it's the uh, best quality that I have printed on this printer so here it is running it uh, I've got it set at 60 millimeters a second See, it's got a it's got great first layer adhesion this uh, filament I did a review on this before it's the tactine filament it's really not very good um, with my previous setup I, uh, I had a lot of trouble get, getting it dialed in it's like on the same print you would have some under extrusion and some over extrusion but with this setup it, it's even able to print this stuff great um, I'm just really amazed. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you the uh, the new Flex 3 drive. It is a great upgrade for your 3D printer. I, I highly recommend it. I'll uh, put a link in the description below for it. Thanks.